hey guys welcome to this video in this video i'm gonna be talking about class-based views in django so we have different types of class-based views we have the list view the detail view the template view create view update view we have a lot of views but in this video we're gonna be talking about the list view so list view basically just returns a list of objects in a model so let's let me show you what i'm talking about so in this project i have a, a model file i have a model which is profile so it contains three values which is name email and bio so i want to create a list view for this profile model for me to do this i'm gonna say class i'm gonna say profile list view then in here it's not going to take a request like a function based view what it's going to take is list view so for me to be able to use this list view right here i need to come up and then import it so i'm going to say from django dot views dot generic import list view so now that i've imported it i can use it right here then what i want to do is to just say query set should be equals to profile this is the profile uh, model which i've imported from our model so i'm just going to say profile dot object dot all now this is how to specify it now i can save this views.py file and then i can come right here into my urls so let me just create a new url so i'll say path let me just say um slash slash i can say um view and i can say list so i use list then i'm going to say views so for me to use that class based view I'm gonna to have to come here and um, say like from the views import. I'll go back. What's the name of that? Is profile list view. So I'm gonna say profile list view. So instead of just passing in normal like views dot create right here, what I'm gonna say is profile list view dot as view. Now this is gonna convert it to like a function based view. Now after doing this, I can now also specify the name equals to, I can say list. Now once I save this, and now we can go to slash list and see what's there. Now once I come to my project and say slash list, and press enter, okay, I didn't write that well, slash list, on to slash list enter now it's gonna pop up okay it says um site can't be reached i think our project isn't running so let's check it out so down here i'm just gonna drag it up okay it says invalid syntax i'm sure that will be right here yes so let me just put a comma and save it so let it reload and let's see okay right now we have no issues so let's come back here and refresh this slash list it should throw me an error yeah now it says template does not exit as slash list now you guys know that in a function based view right here we're going to have to pass the return render then the name of your template in the name of your html file but in a class based view we didn't even pass any html file any template file but it automatically sees a template file. Now, what it uses the um, default template file is going to use, since we're using a list view, it's going to do something like project slash profile underscore list. Now, why is it using this? It's using the name of the app, then the name of the um, the name of the module, and then underscore list. Let me just copy this and show you. So something like this right here so you guys can see the name of this my app is project so it's going to say project slash we have this 
profile model profile underscore list because we're using a list view so that's the default uh, way it's going to look for our html file but if you want it to be a different html file you don't want this all you just need to do is to come up here and say template name should be equals to we can say index.html because i do have that right here index.html now i can save this once i go back and then reload that page it shouldn't see this page again yes now we see it opens an html page which is blank now for us to showcase this okay sorry for that for us to showcase this profile model in the index.html we're going to do something like a loop we're going to use a loop so we're going to say for profile in object list now object list is the default name for um, collecting a model the list of models that you that you pass through a class based view so now in this view right here you see that we're passing a query set for us to access it here, we are going to say for profile or for whatever in object list. As you know, if you are in a function based view, you are going to have to like use a context or do something like return, return render. Then when you render your request, something like that. Then you're supposed to do something like this. That HTML. Then right here, you're supposed to do something like this to pass the query set query set this is how you're supposed to pass a query set in a function based view now this is how you're to pass a query set in a function based view and then once you want to access it here the name in which you use to pass that variable is what you're going to access like query set something like that but right here since we're using a class based view we don't need that what we just need to do is to specify the name of the model which is profile and then put it in a variable called query set so once we have that that should work and then we just say for profile in object list then we can do something like list i can say profile dot name and then i can end the for loop Now once I save it and come back here and click on refresh, as you can see, it gives me the list of all the names I have in this my profile model. Now let me come here and show you. I have nine models, nine objects. Now as you can see, it gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It gives me nine. If I click on each of them from beginning, you see the name is John right here is john so basically it's just getting me the um, the name of all this profile so that's how to use um, a class based views in django specifically the list view now I'm, I'm going to also talk about the detail view and some other types of class based view in future videos i hope you understand the concept we did we used in this video if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and please subscribe I press the bell notification button so you get notified when I drop new videos. Having that said, thank you for watching and bye for now.